Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at Mr. P. Lieberman at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. So let us look at the two graphs that we tried extracting the, um, the vertex from. Okay. So we have the following. So I'm going to use blue to outline this information here um, on our left um, from the blue graph, okay? So let's see the information. Vertex, just as we said before, okay, here's our H, here is our K. So we take the reverse of the H, so it's negative six, and the K remains the same, okay? And here it is. Axis of symmetry, remember, the, in terms of the axis of symmetry, it's where, okay, where can we place a mirror to show the same reflection of the parabola on both sides. And another thing to keep in mind is that, well, we can extract the axis of symmetry by taking the x value of our vertex. So therefore, the axis of symmetry is at x is equal to negative 6. In terms of the direction of the opening, well, here's our A value, and that A value is positive, so because it's positive, our parabola is opening upwards. The pattern, well, the pattern for graphing is based on the 1, 3, 5 pattern, but we've also stated that the 1, 3, 5 pattern can be changed depending on what the A value is. And because the A value here is 2, this 2 gets multiplied by 1, 3, 5 to give us a, two, six, ten pattern. And let's look at the, that two, six, ten pattern. So from our vertex, we're going to move one to the right, up two. One to the right, and up one, two, three, four, five, six. One to the right, and up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so here is 2, 6, 10. In terms of points on our parabola. And so all we have to do is just go right across, right, because the axis of symmetry, okay, and we can get other points on the reflected part of the parabola. So now, do we have a maximum and minimum value? Well, because the parabola moves on and it moves on forever, we cannot extract a maximum point because it goes on forever. We can only extract a minimum point. And here's a hint. If the parabola goes up, we will have a minimum value. And where is that minimum value? Well, just as we said before, in terms of grabbing that minimum value or maximum value, we look at the y value of our, um, our, of our vertex. Therefore, our minimum value is when y is equal to negative 4. Now in terms of the range, our range refers to the y-axis. So we're looking at the value of y. So we look at, here's our lowest point. Okay, and this is our minimum value. So what values of y are that make up this parabola? And it includes every value of y within the parabola itself. So in terms of our value of y, it includes every value of y that is greater than negative 4, but also including negative 4. Okay. So now let's uh, look over here in black uh, for our black graph. We have the vertex, vertex. Here is our h value. Here is our k value. And as we said, the h value is the reverse, so the vertex is at 3 and seven, there it is, okay? The axis of symmetry can be extracted by taking our x value, so again, where is the mirror place? There it is, and that's what pretty much shows the reflection of the parabola on both sides. Now, in terms of, so the axis of symmetry, x is equal to three, and as we said, we can grab it from the x value of the vertex. Direction of the opening, because our a value is negative, 
the parabola opens down. Okay, the pattern now, because it's a, the A value here is one, it's a one, three, five, but it's a one, three, five going downward. Okay, uh, now maximum and minimum value, well, because now we, this parabola, as we said, moves on forever downwards, the only point that we can extract, we can't extract the minimum value, we can only extract a maximum value. And that maximum value is at whatever that y value was of our vertex here. Okay? So the, the maximum value okay, is at y equals 7. And in terms of the range, well, our y value can be everything that's found within the parabola. So every y value within the parabola. And the greatest value for y is every number that is pretty much less than 7, because it's okay, uh, a maximum value. So everything below 7, but also including 7. So let's look at the comparison. In the previous lesson, y and y is equal to ax squared, the vertex was 0, 0. But in this format, in the new vertex format with h and k values, our vertex is h and k. And keep in mind that the value here of h is the reverse. So it's negative h here in the brackets, but it's written as positive h. So it's the opposite of whatever. But in terms of the k value, the k value remains the same. In terms of the axis of symmetry, x is equal to 0. And as we said, we take the x value of our vertex to give us our axis of symmetry. In terms of um, when it's in this format, y is, uh, sorry, x is equal to h. So whatever this h value is, or this x value is, of the vertex. Direction of the opening, well, depends on the a value. Okay? And that goes for both versions. In terms of the pattern, same pattern. a being multiplied by 1, 3, 5, depending. Okay? Maximum minimum value, again, depending on the a value. Okay? If the a value is positive, we have a minimum value at y is equal to 0. We have a maximum value, again, at y is equal to 0. So whatever the y value is okay, of our vertex, here we're looking at whatever the k value is. So it's whatever the minimum is, it's going to be wherever y is equal to whatever that k value is. Okay? And our range, again, depending on if your parabola is going up or down, okay, y is every number greater than or equal to 0 here, or y is less than or equal to 0. But here in terms of k, y is greater than or equal to k when the parabola is going up and we have a minimum value. But if the parabola is going down, we have a maximum value and y is every number that is smaller than k value, uh, the k value including 0.